Here I have the E-Rod, and I picked this up on Amazon for about 60 bucks. Um, this is the smaller model of the ones they have. Um, it fits a one size window pretty well. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and a review here. And, um, you know, just show off the overall quality and the product. I'll put a link in the description of um, where you can purchase it or the link of uh, where I got it from. So starting off, we have um, some hardware, the mounts, the screws for the wall. Um, and we also have the center brace that attaches the rod to the wall. So that's the wall there and the, um, it holds it up like that. Then we have the two end pieces for the curtain rod. And we have the wall mounts for them. So these go on the wall and then you slide these on to And then this hooks onto the curtain rod. Um, this is the remote. You're gonna need three, three AAA batteries for these, for the remote. And it comes with the AC adapter. Uh, this is uh, 12 volts, one amp. This is the motor here of the E-Rod system. Um, you're going to attach this to the rod. This is the IR blaster or uh, the receiver that receives the remote signal and this attaches to your uh, power adapter. And then lastly we have the actual rod for the curtain. And we have some uh, manuals that come with it. So the rod extends out. You just pull it out and then it extends just like that. Um, so these go out like this and they will hold on to the wall like that. That's um, the way they're supposed to be mounted to the wall. And then this is the center support. Just to give you an idea of uh, how you want to mount that to your wall. So first off, you take your uh, motor and then you attach it and here you will see a, um, a notch and you have to match that up with this locking sign here. So you're going to pull down on this, you insert it into the device and then you click it, you um, twist it and it will click into place and lock. So that's the E-Rod, and we'll plug it in and demonstrate it here. Um, one thing, this is, so the, it, this build quality of the E-Rod doesn't feel that solid. Um, for As a rating, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10, or 6.5 out of 10 for build quality. Um, it really doesn't feel sturdy at all. There's good reviews, it works, you know, it functions and all that. It's just, it feels a little cheap and flimsy um, in, in that uh, way. So here we're gonna extend it all out and um, we're gonna give it a demo. And so this is it sliding on one way. Um, you're going to need to adjust this. You can have it set up so that it opens uh, two curtains like that, or you can just have it so it slides one over. So the thing, it functions, it works well. Um, the, the reason I don't like the E-Rod um, is it's a little, it feels a little flimsy, and it's not as solid as I'd like it to be. Um, some of the things like the clips on the bottom, they're made out of plastic. Um, and, you know, the rails and um, 
being able to see these from the top of the curtain is really not that appealing to me. I would recommend this product um, if you're on a budget and you're looking for a cheap way to motorize your drapes or curtains. Uh, if you have a little bit more money, I'd recommend getting something higher quality, uh, maybe some blinds versus the uh, curtain rod system. The reason I went with this was because the blinds were 300 bucks to get motorized blinds. Um, the curtain rod here again was $60. So I'm going to return this probably and I'm just going to probably end up waiting or saving up money to get the blinds instead because I am only doing uh, one room window in my bedroom. Um, again though, if you're on a budget, it works. It works well. It's just I don't like the build quality and some of the materials are made out of plastic. Um, although it's going to be mounted up high up in the, you know, on your wall. So maybe you guys don't care because you won't notice it or something like that. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in for this review. And as always, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Um, I'll put a link in the description on where you can get this curtain rod and... Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Here I have the E-Rod and I picked this up on Amazon for about 60 bucks. Um, this is the smaller model of the ones they have. Um, it fits a one size window pretty well. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and a review here. And um, you know, just show off the overall quality and the product. I'll put a link in the description of um, where you can purchase it or the link of uh, where I got it from. So starting off, we have um, some hardware, the mounts, the screws for the wall, 